President Biden's Justice Department is now looking to defend Donald Trump in a lawsuit surrounding a rape allegation stemming from decades ago. What can you tell us about this? So on the face, this sounds alarming, I think, to a lot of people um, because of the substance of what uh, this woman is alleging and what the Justice Department now is saying. Um, so you may remember that um, this former writer accused the former president of rape. and. During an Oval Office interview, uh, Donald Trump said that essentially she was lying, that she um, was uh, presenting a story that was not false. his type. Exactly, and not his type, and that's his explanation for why it could not have possibly happened. And so at the time, he said, look, he was, um, you know, offering those words as a government official within the scope of his presidency, clearly in the Oval Office, and her lawyers um, said, you know, that's not true because this happened decades before he ever became the president and so the substance has to do with when he was a private citizen but now the department of justice in a new brief said even though um, the president's response was crude and disrespectful the biden doj does agree that you know this is not a case where trump was a private citizen who just happened to be speaking from the Oval Office. He was acting within the scope of his office, according to the Justice Department, and that is why um, they will continue to uh, defend him in that capacity. So it's not, they're not commenting on the substance of, you know, what he said, but rather um, more the, the, the the things that are already in place to protect the presidency and the office when it comes to what um, that person can say while he is uh, in that office. All right, Weijia Jang for us at the White House. As always, Weijia, we thank you. Sure.